Good day, little friends and storytime parents. Welcome to another storytime session with your friendly senior library tech, Miss Tiffany, at your NWR Community Library. Today I picked some of my favorite stories to share with you. Let's begin. All right, friends, so let's start off with one of our newer books, and this is What About Worms by Ryan T. Higgins. Here we go. Gerald. Yes, Piggy. I have a new book, but I cannot make heads or tails of it. Why not? Because it is about worms. It is also about time to get reading. Here we go. I am a tiger. I am big. I am brave. And I am not afraid of anything. Except worms. Worms are slimy. Worms like to wiggle. And you cannot tell their tops from their bottoms. Oh, look, flowers. I love flowers. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Wait. Flowers grow in dirt. Worms love dirt. And this pot is full of dirt. What if there are worms in this pot? Whew, there are no worms. Oh, but I did break the flower pot. Uh-oh. Oh, look, an apple! I love apples! Crunch! Oh, oh. No! What about worms? Worms love apples! What if there are worms in my apple? Whew. There are no worms in my apple. But now I have no flowers and no apple. <sighs> worms run everything. Thanks a lot, worms. Look out! It's worms! Oh, it is not worms, it is a book. You can learn so much from a book. I love books. Oh no. What if it is a book about worms? What's the, was that a tiger? I'm afraid of tigers. Me too. Tigers are furry. Tigers like to walk. And you can tell their tops from their bottoms. You see? The worms talking down here. Oh no. Oh look! The tiger left some dirt. Worms love dirt. Oh look! The tiger left an apple. Worms love apples. Munch, 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 munch. Oh look! The tiger left a book. Worms love books. And it is a book about worms. Worms love worms. Oh no. This is not a book about worms. It is a book about Ooh. tigers. Should we read it? I do not know. We're afraid of tigers. We are. But we love books. We do. We need to get to the bottom of this. Or the top. It does not matter. Let's try to read it. Oh wow, I did not know tigers are so big. I did not know tigers are so brave. I did not know tigers are so not afraid of anything. We learned so much. And now, worms love tigers. That nice tiger left us dirt, an apple, and a book. Let's give that nice tiger a thank you worm hug. Worm hug, worm hug, worm hug, worm hug. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Ah! Oh no. Did you like that story? I did. That book's surprising tale. Made for a surprising tale. I love a book that worms its way into your heart. Yeah. The end. 
What a funny book. I laughed and laughed. All right, friends. Let's read our next book. And this is called I Love You More Than the Smell of Swamp Gas. And this is by Kevin Atterbury. Here we go. I love nothing more than a midnight romp while I chase wild skink through the dark, stinky swamp. Do you love me as much as a skink that you chase, or the smell of the swamp, or the beasts in this place? Oh, I love you much more than the swamp or wild skink. I love you, my newtling, much more than you think. Do you love me as much as a bubbling slime that covers our feet in a thick gooey grime? I treasure you more than a slow oozing muck squish through our toes as we pull them unstuck. I love you as much. Buzz, blood suckling ducks. Do you love me as much as the gas being sprayed by this purple horned skunk that I'm shooing away? I adore you as much as the smell of swamp gas, a stench so delightful we don't want to pass. And I love you, my stinkling, like mummified bass. Do you love me as much as a clickety clack of skeleton's jig in a hat tall and black? I worship you more than the rattle of bones as they shuffle and jump, groaning on earthly moans. I love you, my drumling, more than toe-biting stones. Do you love me as much as ghost bats in flight as they whip around our heads in the glowing moonlight? I cherish you more than the ghost bats in air as they dive after ghost imps infesting our hair. You're twice as much fun as two-headed bears. Do you love me as much as a twisted dead tree whose gnarled branches reach out to grab you and me? I relish you more than the dark serenade the basilisk belch to the egg they have laid. I love you as much as a spider parade. Do you love me as much as a creature at night that follows us scurrying out of the light? I am drawn to you more than a rascal full moon playing tricks with your eyes where dark shadows are strewn. I love you, my ghostling, more than moonstruck raccoons. Do you love me as much as dessert before bed? I think that you must after all that you've said. Dessert before bed? Hmm, let me see. Well, I do. I do love you more than a bowl full of bees drizzled with slime and sprinkled with fleas. I love you, my childling. Monstrously. The end. All right, friends. Let's read one more book and this is called Piglet and this is one of our newer books. Here we go. On a farm in France, Piglet arrived last in her litter and dainty as a daisy. The seventh said her mother, perfection. But life on the farm wasn't a perfect fit for Piglet. Nothing piggish seemed to please her. She snorted at her slop. Pee you, persnickety, said her brothers. While the others played, Piglet pampered herself. Prissy, said her sisters. So sometimes she escaped to the one place she preferred. The pasture. There, in the open air, she closed her eyes and breathed deeply. 
<sighs> Catching the scent of the trees and blossoms, she memorized the perfume of every posy she picked, lily, lilac, lavender, rose, and spent hours making crowns of flowers. It came as no surprise when one day a pungent pickup piqued her curiosity. Piglet packed her bag. She kissed her family farewell and departed for Paris. The seventh, her mother sobbed. Perfection! Paris! whispered Piglet. What will I do here? Who will I be? Piglet the poet? Piglet the painter? Piglet the pastry chef? Perfectly pleasant pastimes, but Piglet sensed she has something more in store. That's when she happened upon the perfumery of Madame Paradis. Inside, the air smelled like a field of flowers. Piglet sampled. Sniff. Mmm, peony. Sniff. Primrose. Sniff. Sweet pea. And this, asked Madame Paradis. Sniff. Hmm, honeysuckle? said Piglet. Ooh la la! You are just a snout I am looking for, my petite, said Madame Paradis. You start work tomorrow. The perfumery became Piglet's paradise. She learned every fragrance by snout. She knew which ones could pep you up, calm you down, or even make you fall in love. Madame Paradis threw important parties with poets, painters, and pianists. They bought presents and pastries. They pampered Piglet like a princess. Perhaps I found my place, thought Piglet. And yet... Sometimes the sights, the sounds, the smells of the city grew smothering. P.U. Please don't push, said Piglet. She wandered the streets, searching for escape until at last a park there in the open air piglet closed her eyes and breathed deeply catching the scents of the trees and flowers a strange wind whispered from far away whoosh came whiffs of grass and mud horse and hay the countryside piglet pictured her mother three brothers and three sisters tears trickled down her snout one for each of them Seven, she sighed. Perfection. Piglet packed her bags. She packed Madame Paradis on each cheek. It's been heaven here, but I have to go home. Soon, the long lost fragrance of the countryside hung all around her. Miss Piglet, my Piglet, cried her mother. Her brothers and sisters came running to greet her. The pasture was my place all along, she thought. And yet, she missed the city. How can I bring a bit of Paris to the pasture? Piglet pondered. Then she knew. She set to planning a party of her own. She sent postcards to Madame Paris, Paradis and all her friends. The day her guests arrived, she gathered her family too. They never once suspected her surprise. Voila! Piglet proclaimed. She prepared rose petal dips and mud masks for her city friends, perfumes and bubble baths for her family, picnics of pastries, flower crowns for one and all. Everything and everyone Piglet loved gathered into one fragrant bouquet and it smelled divine. Picture! Click. Perfection. The end. Thank you for sharing the special story time with me, friends. I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye.